we're gonna answer the question how to make crab cakes. Now, there's plenty of ways to make crab cakes and there's all kinds of recipes and some have mayonnaise in them. As a matter of fact, a lot of them have mayonnaise in them. And some are deep fried, some are sauteed, some are baked. Um, but uh, the recipe I'm gonna show you today doesn't have mayonnaise in it. And it's what I consider to be uh, the nicest crab cake recipe that I have or that I've seen. Now, one would measure the quality of the crab cake, if you will, uh, in one way by how firm it is. Like if it's a hockey puck, obviously the texture of the crab cake would not be that desirable. So if you don't have a bit of a problem handling the crab cake, uh, what I mean by that is um, it should almost fall apart, but not fall apart, of course, while you're both making them, sauteing them, transferring them to, to the plate to eat, and so on and so forth. So this recipe I call for one pound of special crab meat. That would be the grade of crab meat. Now, you can use lump, jumbo lump, special, or back fin. Now, today we have back fin because that's what they had at the market this morning when we went. And... Uh, I, what I got was two eight ounce containers. And you remember one thing about the crab cake recipe itself and the process for making it, that is that first you make the crab mix and then you allow it to rest. You let the crab and the breadcrumb, small amount of breadcrumb that we'll have in there, allow that to absorb the cream and egg mixture and the vegetables so that when you make and form the hashes, don't forget, crab cake is a hash, or a form of a hash, uh, that uh, it holds together and adheres a little bit like good packing snowballs, if you're from up north, you'd understand that. 